What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we're doing something that I thought wasn't going to happen. So if you guys don't know, I made a video on this on Saturday. When I lost in the 250k tournament, I was probably, I was 30th place, and had I won the game that I lost, I was probably going to end up somewhere around 25th, with literally one game left to play and I would have been done for the game week. So, without question, I was going to finish in the top 100, and probably closer to number 50. So, in the end, there were rewards for all the players, but when I lost my game, it dropped me to like 2,000 in the world, and I didn't know what had happened. I genuinely thought that because I was down 2,000, I wasn't going to get my reward. But luckily enough, thank, like thankfully, thankfully 2K changed up the point system when they were giving out the rewards and just put people in the top 500 based on their actual points, not based on the perceived rankings. But crazy, or for that reason, pretty much, we ended up getting the card. So I said I was top 100, I confidently said it, and I genuinely had people in the comments saying, you weren't, you weren't top 100, you were 2,000. Then what does this card mean? What does Terrell Brandon Ruby, who has played one game, and I scored 22 points with him. So I can't, I played one game with him, and Eve on him up, without playing other games. So obviously I got him at Ruby, which is for top 100 players in the world. So Terrell Brandon is not the best card in the world, I'm gonna be completely honest. 28 gold badges though is really good. He's got gold diamonds, it's great floor general, is huge. He's also got gold downhill. He's got gold quick for a step, gold stop and go. He's got gold green machine and bronze giant slayer. He has got okay stats, decent enough driving layup. He's got not great on shot three, okay mid, good free throw. Although his driving is only 35, he actually did get a couple of dunks in the game I played with him. And the one game I played with him is actually going to be my no money spend series, which will be up a little bit after this. But uh, I'm just going to get a gameplay out with him first, trying to see as much as I, well, do as much as I can with him. So he's got good ball handle, good passing stats. He's got a good steal rating, although poor perimeter defense rating, which isn't the worst thing, in, which isn't like the biggest deal in the world if he's got a lot of quickness, which is okay. He's got decent speed to ball and acceleration. Like, the problem is he's 5'11", so he's tiny. He can't really dunk. And he does not have range extender. And he doesn't have quick draw by the looks of it. No, no quick draw, no range extender, and he's 5'11". So, yeah, I don't think he's that great a card. You know, he was brilliant in my Nomini Spence series, and you'll see that episode out later. I still don't think he's great. So, he ends up going up to an 80 shot 3 when he goes to an Amethyst. His lateral quickness goes up, his pass perception goes up, mid-range shot goes up, but he goes up in no badges. And then at Diamond, he goes to an 84 shot 3, ball handling goes up. The speed doesn't go up at all. Oh my god, he stays at 87 speed. Although he does get Hall of Fame quick for a step and flexible release, which are great badges to have. He doesn't even get quick draw. Man, this card. I, I know I got him, which is good. It's an extra card and it's a free card. And it's at least proof that I finished in the top 100. Like even he fully vote up this card is going to be not very good. Cards that are better than this card. D Rose, Stefan Marbury. At Rubies are better than this card fully vote up. And when Stefan Marbury's an Amethyst, he's probably the best point card in the game. And again, we are still we're still in the process. We are still, it's still a process for Stefan Marbury. We are 130 points off now. But anyway, now let's get on to the odd sense and release Terrell Brandon, and then we're gonna get on to the game. So Terrell Brandon actually has a lot of weird hot sounds. Like corners are not really as pop for a point guard. Dribble moves. Uh, meh. Release isn't slow though. It is not slow at all. It's not the worst release in the world. Let's see the leaner. Let's see the leaner. Oh, it's actually not too bad. Could be better, could be worse. Obviously, they patched leaners so much that they very rarely go in, but yeah, that's just 2k20 for you. The release, it is a little bit on the long side. I wish he just had range extender so that you could pull up, say, from this range right here and hit shots consistently. I know he hit that one there, but he's not gonna hit it consistently. And as a 5'11 point guard, you do need that little bit of extra space. So you either need quick draw or range extender to get your shot off. Especially because he only has bronze giant star as well. Going to the basket. Okay, he jammed it there. He actually jammed it in the game I played, so he will dunk in games, but not that often. Really only have fast breaks. But yeah, he's gonna be decent going to the basket. He does draw blow buys quite easily. And yeah, there's no reason why he shouldn't be a good card. Well, he's not a good card at all. There's no reason why this was the top well, our top 500 reward for 2k but hey if you guys didn't get the reward or 2k did happen to screw you out of the reward don't worry this guy's not very good 
do not worry about it at all. But anyway, now it's just green one three. And now let's get on to the game. All right, so we are playing against Michael Ray Richardson, Fully Evo, Dwayne Wade, Paul Pierce, 44. I think I might have played this guy before. Let's see what his bench is looking like. Leitner, Silas, Mirasan. Not a bad team, but not an incredible team either. Although Ray Richardson is going to make it hard for Brandon to do much in this game. Let's go off to pick. Right to the basket. We're out. Brandon gets swatted from behind. And we can't make the layup with Isaiah Hartenstein. That is a poor, poor decision. Shoot the wide open three of Paul Pierce. So I'm going to get bullied, but if we timed this right, we're good. That's a great move right there by the Kembe. All right, Terrell Brandon's height is definitely going to work against him. Kick to the corner. Good pass. Green. Oh, I from Isaiah Hartenstein for three. What the hell is this guy doing on offense? He's just making passes. And not passes to anywhere in particular. Okay, don't leave him. Oh, why are you guarding a non-shooter, Hartenstein? Why not double in the post? Oh my god, that was just dumb. So let's push him. You've got to be faster than the Kembe. Come on. Ryan Anderson from mid. Green. All right. There we go. Two assists there for Terrell Brandon. I'm not going to score that many points with him, so I might as well do so. I might as well try to win the game. Bad shot. Off, of course. I'm going to call time in after this play. So shoot the fade. I know it's coming. And it goes in anyway. Not much I can do with that. All right, we make our subs, get our bench in, and we might get back into the game. But, yeah, they have Terrell Brandon completely clamped up. One more, one more, one more. Nick Anderson for three. Green. Let's go. We need these shots to fall. Okay, so they have sand in the game. Once we get the, once we burn him, they're going to leave Channing Fry open in the corner for three. It's all on me now. It's all on me to green these releases. Okay, we got one of our players stuck in the crowd. Not a good release. Go get the board. Unlucky Fry. Good job by Mirasan. Look, we got it. We're giving up something to get the shooter in the game. And it's going to be a lot of boards he gets. We're also going to be able to destroy him at Rose, though. Three ball. Green light on the buzzer. Let's go. Marbury makes it a three-point game at halftime. We got him. He was expecting to pass it to three, and we get the layup. Let's go. We're back to three points here. Let's go. Stop and score, and we're good. We want that pass to Wade and for Wade to be running the heart inside. We don't want... There we go. That's the exact shot we want. It's good defense right there. Hit to Rob Brandon. Please get his first score here. To the basket. There we go. He makes the layup. <laughs> there we go. Great pass. Great dunk. Derek Rose. Okay. And one. What a dunk by the GOAT. That is Derek Rose. And people still say the T-Max was a better option to pick than Derek Rose. I'll be fair, day one, I was one of those people, but my god, his hair grows unbelievable. That's a full white glitch. Get the board. Go get the board. One of us. Come on, lads. Why can't we get any boards? You've actually got the better rebounders on the floor right Well, similar level rebounders on the floor right now. Kick to the shooter for three. We need that one, and that's a massive green release to put us up by three points. It's open. D Rose, green. Please be three. Please be three. And it's a three. Let's go. Watching back on this, I am pretty sure that my reaction is fully justified, which will happen after this breakdown. But Hartenstein brings the ball up and just drops it. He somehow drops the ball, attempting to go for a dunk. This doesn't make sense. What? How did he lose the ball? How did he lose the ball? I do not know. Can someone tell me how he lost the ball right there? And they make another moving mid-range shot. It's like they patch leaners for threes, but not for mid. Kick to the shooter, on the wing, for three. Decent-ish release, and we knock it down with Hartenstein. We're there, we're right there, and they come out with the board! Can we just get something to break our way? Can we get something? It's been three, it's been four, three and a half quarters, and nothing has broke our way. Can we just get some form of luck? We actually might have gotten blessed right here. Ryan Anderson on his six foot one guy, and he can't post, why won't you post up? There, post up! Post up! I'm holding the post up! Why won't you do it? Why won't you do what I'm clicking? Terrell Brandon, the Ruby who had scored two points in the whole game up to then, 
makes the biggest clutch play of the game. And we're way out of position. We're gonna go position, Hartenstein. Oh, good pass there by Brandon. Okay, it's Hartenstein's job to protect the basket here. Wait for them to make the poor decision. He goes for that, he goes for that, we're there! No! Oh my god, our shot blocker, it's dunked on by a six foot one player! Look, I'm 1-0, oh, this doesn't really matter, but I've never been so screwed in a game of 2K before. Harrenstein swiped at nothing, absolutely nothing that last play. He had a chance for the putback, instead of going for the putback and... Oh, good old adaptive coaching engine. When you don't want to do any, to do something on offense and 2K decides to do it for you. Just a tough shot right there, and it's off. And it's game. Oh man, this game is frustrating at times, but look, it doesn't really matter too much. So in the end, Derek Rose at 15, Hartenstein at 8, Channing Fry at 6, Mirasan at 6, Mirasan's plus 9 on the floor, Marbury at 5, Terrell Brandon, 2 of 8 from the field, 4 points, 5 assists, 3 boards. This card's awful. Like, whatever, it's a top 100 award, but you guys would be thankful to know if you guys didn't finish in the top 500, this card is terrible. And even at Diamond, he is terrible. But anyway, yeah, not great. So anyway, that is the video. Terrell Brandon was used for these two games and will never, ever come anywhere close to my squad again. This card is absolutely terrible. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.